Power 5.1. Partisan Fontaine is my guest today. Mm -hmm. Party if you're nasty. Party if you're nasty. And we are, our our studio is sponsored by Hennessy today. Ah, perfect. How is that good? It's amazing. I am on the keto diet. I can't enjoy the ginger ale and passion fruit that is in that. I'm going (laughs) to tell you how great it is. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. It's good to meet you, man. Same. Likewise. I am uh, I am digging everything that's happening. You've been a lot of cosigns. You have been, your setup is pretty amazing. Mm. But I look forward to getting to know you a little bit more. Let's do it. So let's start from the beginning. Where the hell did you come from? <laughs> I am from uh, Newburgh. Newburgh, Newburgh mm-hmm. New York. Yep. I read that Newburgh was like the murder capital for many, many years. And that um, this year is actually like the lowest crime rate. Yeah, unfortunately, we had that title for like a few years running, but it's starting to it's starting to turn around. It's starting to get better. Yeah. Why do you think? Because um, part because party's out. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you changing the positivity. You changing the vibe. Yeah, we got some hope right now. You know what I'm saying? A place without no hope is just chaos. So, yeah. You feel me? So I we, feel that. We, we on the up and up though. Do, has there been other artists that have come out of there? I don't think so. Right? Not really. Prior to me. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about many success stories prior to me. So how does that happen for you then? So you're in Newburgh, you're like looking around, ain't no other rappers popping, but you're like, I could do this? I, yeah, I just <laughs> felt like, I always felt like, I, t- I told this to my mom too, I'm like, there's no way God would give me like this much passion for something, mm. you know what I'm saying, and this much willingness to do it and just leave me to be, you know what I'm saying, just nobody. Do nothing like, with it. You know it. what I'm saying, it's yeah. impossible. So when did I you do, know that? Oh... Uh, for a while, you know what I mean. I, anything I do, I was pretty determined. Even when I was playing ball, I was real determined and gave it a, gave it my all. But oh my God, I met you! D- didn't I meet you before? Didn't we meet before today? Do you before remember that? Today, I, you were with Clee, Clee Anthony, yeah, Clee yeah, Anthony, yeah, yeah. Um, who I know well. We have mutual friends, and um, and I was introduced to you as a ball player, not a, a rapper. It was that early? No way. Well. well I, they say he plays ball. That's like, that was like they just you play ball. Just, they probably just linked me with Clee because Clee was pooping. Is at that the time. How, is that how you knew Clee? Because yeah, I knew Clee from from hooping. Yeah, yeah. We, we went to uh, JUCO together. We was on AU together, so we came up playing ball. And you play college ball too, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then you what? You stopped school to go to, to I, do this? I left school mid mid all uh, season. You know what I'm saying? We we had a game on like a Tuesday. Isn't that dirty to do to your team? I had no other choice. I was like, if I don't leave. Today, right now, uh-huh. I'm not going to leave. And I was like, I, I might not know what could happen. So I had to leave that Wait, day. did the opportunity come? The opportunity what, to leave? Yeah. Yeah, I had to. I had, I'm had. i like, yo, if I don't leave today, I'm not going to leave. So and I just left. Out of nowhere, you just felt like that? I had been feeling it for like a couple of weeks uh-huh. and like going back and forth in my mind or what I was going to do. But uh, essentially, it was just like, yo, if I don't give this a shot, I'm never going to be totally satisfied. I'm always wonder what could have happened, what might have happened mm-hmm. if I gave it my all. So. But you were already kind of dabbling, right? And you were already like, how did you know like that you were oh, even yeah, that I was good? Doing, I was doing like little little freestyles and a couple of little songs. Yeah. But like I said, I had like a real passion for it. And I was, I just, it's a gut feeling. Like there's no way. I had put hours and hours into learning how to like record myself and just, you know, and into the craft. And I just let it, you know, all manifest with me. Like, yo, this is this is what I'm supposed to do, and I knew that. You didn't have that passion for ball? I did uh, in the beginning, but after a while, you know, reality starts to set in like, all right, I'm not going to be in the NBA. You know what I'm saying? It's 300 yeah. jobs in the NBA. That's so it. So I'm either going to I'm either going to be overseas somewhere or I'm going to stay here and get like a, a office job or, you know what I'm saying, with my degree. But I'm like, nah, this music is really like a calling. And this I is what it. it is. And then so how long from that time to the time you started – what was because like Cardi was the first artist that you kind of work with on that level or oh what as far as like like uh, cool, writing and yeah. yeah yeah Cardi and and that happened through like just friendship me doing like my uh my own music and mm-hmm. her being like a real fan of it uh it's how we even got linked up oh like, she found you for the music um because I was doing my circuit running Sue's running yeah. Lush running all of that stuff just trying to get my stuff heard and we had a, a mutual friend shout out to Ash Cash who used to like play my stuff because she's from my town. And they was they was good friends. So one day she went and did like a, a, a Instagram video to one of my songs, Oi, where she went in the gas station, pumping gas, jumped on the car, started twerking, all of that. And, <laughs> and she was just like, you know what I mean? We've just been friends ever since. That's amazing. And then you do all this writing. And Cardi, I know Cardi did an interview at the Breakfast Club. I think she said it's uh, it's not ghost writing, it's co-writing, right? Correct. Because she because you get credit. Correct. You get publishing. Correct. And there's not nobody's hiding anything. Correct. 
And this is a nice, let's just say, and by the way, this rap career is going to work out great for you, but let's just say it didn't. Mm -hmm. This writing publishing career alone is a very nice living it's to a, make. It's a very lucrative business. It's a it's lucrative very, business. It's, to say the least, it's very lucrative. It is a very, <laughs> especially when you have an album that performs at the level that a Car the Cardi B album performed at. People like it. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get, was there a moment you got like your first big check from that? Mm hmm I remember I went to sleep broke and woke up rich one day. That's but, it? And I was like, oh shit. I mean, it was real. Like, Rich used to tell me, my man, like, yo, the song, these songs are doing good. I'm like, yeah, all right, that's good for Doesn't her. Mean nothing I'm to still you. in the studio, you know, writing mm -hmm. and whatnot. But lo and behold, they was right about something. You went to sleep broke. I'm talking like $10. And my shit broke. Wow. And woke up and what happened? Not broke. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up not broke. How man. not broke? Just give me an estimate. You don't have to give me the number, but like buy a house not broke or like I could, like what, how not broke? And from the first check. I was just not broke. I, I, didn't, <laughs> I, I, just, I just knew I wasn't broke. I was like, ah. That has to, we, I We can go to the mall. Like I don't got to check my, my bank account before I buy something in Target, not broke. You, you feel me? That's yes. where I was at before. It was like, ah, if I get this and this, it might send it into the red. So I, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> that's, that, that's where I was at prior to this. Oh, that's got to be a good feeling. Because you know, everybody else, it takes, usually it's like it comes with a little bit at a time. and That's not, amazing. Not this one. Did you have any idea when you was in the studio with her and y'all were working on those songs that they would be, that they would perform like this? No, no. No. Not, not at all. How could you, right? Not at all. It was just like, you have a feeling like, but me, I'm, I feel like that about all the stuff I touch. Like anything, my music, I'm like, oh, this is hard. You feel me? This it is, is fire. hard, this though, by the way. So, but it just, it just works so well. Uh, she works so hard and like really takes the time to like really perfect her craft too. Yeah. And the willingness to learn and, uh, and seeing that. It's just amazing. So I'm happy it worked for her too. That's dope, dope. And then does that put extra pressure on you now as an artist to like deliver at a certain level? Hell, hell yeah. I think because you know what I'm saying? I'm now associated with greatness. Like, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. she's like super lit. And now that uh, we got our record together and people seeing us together, uh, they, they, they got that same expectation from me. And uh, and Kanye and you did and you co-wrote with Kanye too. Yeah, yeah, it's my man. I too. mean, that's a lot of shit to stand next to. Then, right, then only, you have to. I've only ever worked with two people in the studio. You feel me? Only those worked, two. and it's been Cardi B and Kanye West. That's you know kind of crazy. Like, crazy. What do you do now? Where do you go next? That's what I'm like. They like, do you write for anybody else? I'm like, who? Who am I going to write <laughs> right now? Like, who? Like, who, who's going? <laughs> and there's only but a certain amount of artists that are comfortable um, saying that. Also. People might ask you to write, but it'll be quietly. You can't mm. claim it. <laughs> There's only but a few that you can do that for. So what about you? What's up for you? What, what, what What's happening with your music? What's... I actually got this little record that I just put out a little while ago. It's called Backing It Up. Mm -hmm. And it just so happens it's... to have Cardi B on it. I you know, know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's Well, you know, thing. Cardi B is performing at Powerhouse. She is. Had you heard that? I, somebody told me. Somebody Yo, you should come me. and jump on that stage and do that little record. That's not a bad idea. I might have to run that by somebody. <laughs> you I might have to, have to run, run that by? I might have to call somebody and see Get if we some can make clear. that before happen. We, before you leave, we should go to the back office and see if and we see can. And see if it's Okay for if, me to come out. Yeah, we should try you know, that. I've always wanted to do Powerhouse. Have you, know have you ever mean? been to a Powerhouse? I have. I went to last year's. Yeah, well. I, I was I was in the stands far back. You feel me? Bad seats. Just, yeah, just bad looking. seats. Just, just looking. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's a great story, B. And then, of course, tonight, by the way, tonight is the pre-party. We're going to all be at uh, Highline Ballroom, Partisans uh, performing in Gold Link and City Girls, Flip, De Niro, and Dream Doll, all performing at Highline. Aye. Yeah, it's a good. It's going to be a good night. The that's whole power. Delano. The whole uh, Power Squad will be there. And the tickets are only $10. The tickets benefit the Breakfast Club's uh, Change for Change Foundation. So $10 and it's for charity. Mm. That's a good, that's, you know what I mean? It's a win-win. It's a win-win. Like like, and I'm so on, excited to it. see you perform. This will be my Little Caesar's Pizza. Come this on. is my first time seeing you perform. I could get a sense of what it's like from the videos, but it's different. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a whole vibe. It's What's whole your vibe experience. on stage? Give it to me. It's Tell an me. experience. It's like a... Uh, I don't know. What is this? 2000, 2020 Busta Rhymes? Like, I don't know. It's Yo, that, however I feel. Busta Rhymes might be one of the best performers one of like the, of all one time. Of the greatest. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He get up there and talk his cash shit and, and jump and around the body. With, yes. Yeah. Is this what you do up there? This, this is how I do. How's that though? How's that taste? This is, this is amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. Take a little break. I know you can't enjoy it. Yo, so I'm, I'm a, I, Tennessee, holla at me. I am. I, yo. <laughs> 
I'm a Hennessy spokesperson, man. I need, I need, I need something, man. I, just send, send me some you free something. bottles. Send or you something. something. Well, they sent this up here for you today, so for you know, yeah, this is right, for you. Right, yeah, right, they sent this up here for you today. It. All right, cool. So you know, cool. <laughs> this is this is the first of many in a, a, a great relationship between me and Hennessy. You got um some new tattoos I saw on Instagram. I did. Talk to me about these tats. What they, you got? They fucking hurt. That's what they, they do. They do hurt. Yeah. You know um, what hurts worse? Getting one off. Have you ever done that? Mm-mm, I'm That's, not removing nothing. Don't ever. If they go on there, they stand. It's terrible. So what, what you got? Is. You got Pac? I got Pac. I got uh, Malcolm Brother X. Malcolm. Yeah. And Martin Luther King Jr. All three. All three. Reasons? I mean. Um, I mean, aside from, you know, what they have contributed but I just world. felt like uh I felt like that's a whole attitude. I feel like there's a um those are three individuals that said what they felt, you know what I'm saying, against what people what might have been the the common belief or the popular belief mm-hmm. and wasn't afraid of like the real backlash. They didn't really care, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I feel like even my song Rap Charlemagne, you feel me? Like yeah. you know, he don't care about what nobody's saying. I feel like it's the same attitude and the same approach. That I bring. Should have so. put Charlemagne on the other. I should not have got the Charlemagne <laughs> tattoo. There's no way. As much as I love Charlemagne, ain't no way. It's a little too. It's a little too close. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. That song is dope too. Didn't they take the video down? They took the video took down. Took my baby down, bro. So where does it live now? Hours. Why? Because there's so much foul shit on YouTube. Why is that down? There's a lot of foul stuff on YouTube. There's a lot of freestyles on YouTube, but apparently. Mine didn't deserve to stay up for some reason. Did they? Do they? Do you get an answer for that, or do you get like a, a, a email that says, <sighs> "Hey, we took this down because of blah blah blah"? Or they don't tell you? I I think I I the beat the beat belonged to somebody else. Well, then then there's that. So I, listen, <laughs> listen. But how many how many covers and how many freestyles are on YouTube? I was just I know I have some. Yes. I have plenty that haven't been taken down, but for some reason this one couldn't live. So. You gotta find another other place to put it, and you gotta get that sample clear. It's too good. I mean, I gotta do something because apparently people really enjoyed it, and the visual was dope. And Sage English and I and Itchy House, we worked really hard on it, and I just wanted to contribute great music to the world. Well, can you get it cleared? Uh, What's your label situation now? What's I, happening here? I, I don't. I don't think. I don't think this is something that. I don't think that's gonna get cleared for some reason. I don't know. I mean, we can try really hard, right, Ron? I Come like on, it. Ron. We can try really Aren't hard. You, don't you have any pull up there, Ron? Can't we do, can't we do anything? I don't think. I, I think it belonged to somebody. So Who did know. it I belong guess we to? You go know. Them. Oh, all right. All right, fine. We'll wait and see. In the meantime, so then what's next? What do we need to look for? Tell me everything. Um, I'm about to drop a lot of music. That's what I plan on doing. Um, EP by the top of the year, though. Oh, EP, good. LP by the top of the year. Good bunch of performances i just want people to see my face i've been in the shadows i was a ghost for a long time they say so yeah i just gotta be outside now you seem very comfortable in it though i am i've been waiting for a long time this i could tell years in the making, so I've been waiting i'll be honest year. you feel like a star to me thank you thank you I people tell it. you that nope you did though really so. they don't <laughs> you do you feel like a star to me i mean it's it's very new but i feel it i could tell you, you seem very comfortable in that in the space that's not, you know, new artists sometimes it I'm, takes I'm, a minute. I watch the Angie Martinez interviews, you know what I'm saying? I've sat and like He's man, whack. I, I should be in that chair right there. You feel me? I should be in that chair, man. I got these songs. So now I'm I'm just happy to be here. You know what I mean? I wanna I wanna give every hug, I wanna shake every hand, I wanna say go to every interview, all of that. What about what about um where you from? How are they receiving Yo, this? N- Newburgh, first off, I love Newburgh. I love St. Luke's, everything about it. I went to Walmart the other day, and I'm telling you, I had to take like 50 pictures while I was in there. You know oh. what I mean? Just and it's just the amount of support because it's like it's a town who that has overwhelming amount of talent. You know what I mean? Mm. But not the opportunity. So for for me to be able to 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 break through and shed some light mm. on the on the city is like epic for everybody. I'm talking about from the hood. To, to middle aged white parents that came to me like, oh my son Johnny went to school with you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. It's it's like I've become everybody's claim to what could be. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And and I'm I'm happy for it. That's dope. And it could go either way. Sometimes where you're from, they either like they 
pick lift you up and they're proud of you, or that's where you get the most hate. Oh no, nah, I haven't I haven't been up long enough for them to hate me yet. Right yeah. now, it's still <laughs> right, new. You right, feel right. me? Eventually, I'm sure it, 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 it might rear his head. But it can happen. Right now, it's brand new. Everybody got to be excited. You know what I mean? And I'm happy they are. That's dope, man. I'm happy for you too. I'm looking forward to the show tonight. Again, everybody tonight, Highline Ballroom. Party is performing. Um, Ten dollars, gold link. Uh, Dream doll. Thank City you, Girls, thank you. Please, all of that. you want to fill a, in for lit. me sometime? Flip De Niro. <laughs> my son. Everybody is gonna be lit. Make sure y'all come. Ten dollars to get in, and it's um and it's for the Breakfast Club's uh, radiothon. We're raising money for for change that. for change. Change for change. Yeah, Yo, yeah. you're so good I'm at this. You're so on this. All right, so I'll see you tonight. I don't know if I'm bringing you on or not, but I will be there to see you before. Make sure you bring me on. Whoever's bringing me on, stop it. Be like, nah, I got this. And you got this, this. next one <laughs> right. here. New York City, I'm not playing. He's here, party fine. Too. And if everything goes well later, we'll see you at Powerhouse. Hey, yo, speaking into existence. <laughs> okay, Just good. Make sure that happens. I'm going to see you again, I'm sure. I'm sure of it. I can't wait to hear the rest of the music, too. You said top of the year? Top of the year, by the top of the year. It's phenomenal. Perfect. We'll see y'all tonight. Highline Ballroom. Partisan Fontaine, everybody. It's Power hey. 5.1.